Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. Today I am back with a ColourPop review. I feel like it's been a while since my last ColourPop review. Like I really don't remember the last collection I reviewed from ColourPop. So I'm excited to be back with my usual Judy 3 looks 1 palette review videos. And today we're going to be focusing on the Star Wars collab. This is their C3PO 9 pen palette. For the past few years now, ColourPop has been collabing with Star Wars and I feel like towards the end of the year they've been coming out with a nine pen palette based off a Star Wars character so it started off with the child we went to the Mandalorian and then it was Darth Vader last year and now we have C3PO which I feel like is a really different color story from everything else so with that being said if you guys want to hear my thoughts on the palette see some comparisons and also of course my three looks then please continue watching all right let's first break down the palette here is what the outer packaging looks like it's pretty cool because some parts of it does reflect gold I have not watched Star Wars so I'm not sure how accurate the colors are but he seems like a golden metal man so I feel like this color story is perfect for his character but the palette itself is 16 USD the collab palettes do run a little bit more expensive than the usual palette prices but in the palette you'll receive four mattes four metallics and a one super shock shadow I really do feel like this a good range within the mattes and also the metallics. I think when it comes to gold, a lot of the golds will look somewhat similar on the eyes because how many shades of gold can you do, am I right? But I do feel like they did a pretty good variation and I love how there is a super shock in here as well. But yeah, I don't want to talk too much about the palette itself because it's just a palette and I feel like you guys know how I feel about Colourpop's formula. Everything performed well. I really enjoyed the range. I really like the looks that I got out of it. I think it's a really beautiful rich warm yellow palette so if that's what you've been looking for I think this palette would be amazing for that but with that being said of course when it comes to Colourpop there are a lot of comparisons there are a lot of dupes so I'm gonna go through some of the most comparable palettes that we have so I think the most comparable palette is gonna have to be good as gold when it comes down to the mattes you get transition mid-tones you even get a really dark dark brown as well and then just a range of metallics it does have that like really flaky foiled finish that they did for a little bit they also have some press glitters in there as well so I feel like you can get a very similar vibe from both palettes but with good as gold you do get different textures but if you're not a fan of that foiled finish or glitters then I think the C3 PR palette would be more ideal. My next comparison palette is the Wannabe palette which is one of my absolute favorite like really rich warm tone summer palettes from Colourpop and these two again are very similar but I feel like Wannabe just has a little bit more peachy tones to it and with that you do get a bit more variation within the metallics. I feel like with the Star Wars palette it is very very golden and yellowy base but for me personally I think Wannabe will still have to be my favorite like warm tone yellowy palette from Colourpop and of course we do have to compare it to the original yellow palette from Colourpop this is the Aha uh -huh Honey palette I think with Aha uh -huh Honey that is more of like a brighter true yellow palette it does have a press glitter inside I feel like with Aha uh -huh Honey the looks are gonna look really 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 similar but with the Star Wars one you do get more depth and variation and then the last palette I wanted to compare it to was Little Ray of Sunshine. Little Rare Sunshine is an all matte palette so there's only so much comparisons I can do and I believe Little Rare Sunshine may be discontinued last time I checked. Little Rare Sunshine is just that yellow matte palette from Colourpop so I did just want to compare a little bit just in case you have you know this palette as well. Obviously it's an all matte palette so we can't compare the metallics but I think you know it has that vibe. It really has that vibe so I guess with all those comparisons in mind it is a really warm golden palette which is definitely nothing new of course we all know that I feel like there's nothing new these days I do think it's a beautiful palette like if we're just taking it as face value as it is I really enjoyed the palette I really liked it formula was great had no issues and who doesn't love a good warm tone golden palette so I'll leave my review and comparisons there I also wanted to focus on the comparisons and the three looks so with that being said let's just go ahead and hop into my three looks I hope you guys will enjoy So 
So to get started with the first look, this one is inspired by Lisa from Blackpink. This is one of the looks that she wore for one of their concert dates. I just thought the gold glitter, the warm tone look, we could definitely recreate it with this palette. So with that being said, we are starting off with the shade Tartuni. This is just going mainly on my lid just as a lighter base because we're going to be mostly doing a lot of crease work. So I'm just getting this laid down first, but then I'm going to move into the shade Companion and this is going straight into the crease just using windshield wiping motions. I'm using a semi big brush to get this blended out first um, just to have a really nice diffusion. I'm also going to run that onto my lower lash line as well just sweeping it all over. Then I'm going to take a mixture of 6 million and programming which is the mid-tone brown and the dark brown just to get like an in-between shade of these two and then we're going to take a pencil brush and be a little bit more precise in that crease because in Lisa's photo you can see she has a really strong like cut crease kind of going on. I don't want something as intense but I do want to mimic her look. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Translator and I'm pretty much just applying this directly again into my crease. I'm applying it a little bit above my crease so that way when I open my eyes you still can see this golden base. But to really top off the look I'm taking a press glitter from Colourpop. It's the shade Bring the Heat. I'm applying that right on top of that gold metallic shadow. This gold is perfect for this look, I think. So really just applying that a little bit above my crease where it folds. So again, you can see it when I open my eyes. But then I'm going to take the shade of Bolt, which is a super shock shadow. I'm going to use this to highlight my inner corners and the inner third of my lower lash line. This is such a beautiful reflective inner corner highlight. I absolutely love this one. Then I'm going to go back in with my pencil brush taking a six million. I'm just going to use this to define the lower lash line at the outer third ever so slightly. But here we have the first look completed. Again, inspired by Lisa from Blackpink. I love the gold glitter in the crease. This technique is not something I typically would do, but I love the sparkle and twinkle. And you know, you can't go wrong with a good warm toned eye look. So yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the first look. And now moving into the second look, I'm going to start off with the shade Tattooni. This is going to be the base, the transition for our eye look. So I'm going to first sweep that onto my lids and then I'll slowly blend that up into my crease going up towards my brow bone. I really want this light mustard shadow to show up at the end. So I'm really smoking this out all over my lids and I'm also going to take that onto my lower lash line as well. Next, I'm going into the shade 6 million. I'm just going to focus this at the outer corners of my eyes just to get a little bit more depth. I love this 6 million shade because it's just a perfect warm caramel brown. I'm also going to take 6 million mix with programming which is the darker brown. I'm going to use a mixture of these two shades to define my lower lash line. I'm creating more of a straighter lower lash as you can see here and I just needed something a little bit darker to get that definition going but I didn't want to use the dark brown on its own so just make Mixing the two here to get my new lower lash. Then we're going to go into the shade golden one. I'm going to diffuse this out onto the inner third of my eyes going into my inner corners. This is the most perfect true gold metallic shadow. And then I'm going to go in with another glitter gel from Colourpop. This one is from their Animal Crossing collection which is now discontinued but just a gold glitter. I'm going to focus that first on my lower lash line at the inner third to really highlight and then I'm going to scatter this across my crease just like in the inner crease above my crease as well so that way when I open my eyes you can see it. It's just a nice little highlight and it adds a lot of texture to the look. But here we have the second look completed. This is actually my pom-pom purin look that I'm doing for Instagram and TikTok. I know this look is for Star Wars. I don't know, just the really rich, warm yellow tones was perfect for pom-pom purin. So I am wearing my little headband that I got, but hopefully you guys did enjoy this second look. And 
finally onto the last look I'm first gonna go into the shade 6 million this is going to be the base for our eye look so first I'm just packing that onto my lids and then I'll slowly blend that up into my crease just getting a really soft base going for our eye look I want this look to head more towards a mustard brown rather than keeping it really yellow like the other two looks I'm also gonna take 6 million onto my lower lash line as well just doing a generous wash of this all over next I'm going into the shade programming which is the darkest brown I'm gonna focus this at the outer corners of my eyes and then also at the inner third of my eyes keeping the middle of our lid a little bit blank we're gonna be creating a halo eye for this look but I really do feel like defining the outer corners and the inner corners of your eyes really helps define the eyes and it gives a really sultry look which I absolutely love but I'm also gonna take programming onto my lower lash line as well with that same pencil brush and I'm just gonna use this to define my lower lash line creating a more straighter outer wing but next I'm gonna go into the shade adequate which is the more darker metallic gold in the palette this is going at the center of our eyes so kind of where we didn't put any of that darker brown it's just gonna go right at the center I am gonna like really diffuse it and blend it out into my crease now going into the shade droid I'm gonna use this at the inner corners of my eyes to highlight it's like a mid-tone gold with some like rose gold reflex but I'm also gonna take that onto my lower lash line a little bit as well just for a little glimmer on the lower lash but that is essentially the final look completed for the final look I really wanted to do something that wasn't so golden and yellow we still have that mustard underneath everything but I think overall it's a little bit more I guess neutral leaning it's not too bright as the other looks and we didn't play with any glitters for this look as well but I love how this look turned out I feel like my eyes just kind of pop and I just really love how the look turned out so hopefully you guys enjoyed this final look as well Alright guys, so those were my three looks completed. Be sure to let me know which look out of the three was your favorite down below. A lot of inspired looks today, but yeah, let me know which one was your favorite down below in the comments. Love hearing your feedback. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. I'll go ahead and see you in my next video. Bye!